Hi, this little series is a really gentle but effective hip flexor release. And as we do it, I'll blab on to you about your hip flexors. So the first thing you're gonna do is come up tall and we're just coming forward to the center. So I'll show you, it's coming forward to the center. It's a very small move, you're squeezing your buttocks into the center. Now, if you wanna get more of a twist, you take your knees out like that, more of a stretch rather, and you're pushing forward. So I can feel the stretch here, this is where you want it. At this stage, it's a very gentle stretch. What you're not doing is arching your back back. You're pushing forward from your hips. So no movement through here, pushing forward from your hips. Then we're gonna to add to it. So you're gonna come forward and sway back, forward and back. Now you can use a chair or a bench or a coffee table in front of you if you want to. So eventually, with those knees out, remember, you wanna be able to come back almost into sitting onto your heels, pushing way forward, coming right back, pushing forward, coming right back. The muscle that we're trying to release gets tight when we sit, gets tight under stress, push back, and causes a lot of problems in your body, particularly your back, but also your hips. And when your hips aren't right, your knees and your feet aren't right, your spine isn't right. When your spine's not right, your neck is not right. So it's worth just doing some of these. But we're gonna go on an angle. So what you're gonna do is a diagonal. So you're gonna come forward this way to come back a little bit. So it's the same thing, but going on that angle there. I hope you can see that. And then you just work at making it bigger. Okay, so it's the psoas muscle we're trying to stretch. And that's the only muscle that attaches your body to your legs. Okay, it's the longest muscle in the body and it's inside your body. So it passes through your body. It goes from, let's do the other side, forward here to back here. Forward here to back. It starts off on the inside of your spine, right down low and on your sacrum and passes through your body and attaches to ligamentous structures at the front. They don't actually attach onto the bone at the front. Okay, so now what you can do is you can circle around, really pushing forward, really pushing sideways front. Okay, so we're here, getting that sway back, then pushing forward. Your core is involved in this part here. And can we do the other side? So really pushing forward keeping forward till you start to take your tailbone back, pushing forward. Right, now you're gonna see if you can sit down, and if you can sit down, that's great. If you can't, we need to do these stretches. So the good idea is to have something to support you. I am going to angle the camera so you can see. Right, first things first, I'm gonna take this leg up behind me, nice cushion under your knee, might be quite good. You see how now I'm stretching through the front here, right through here and into there, but I'll only do that if I keep my butt forward, okay? And then what you can do, if you've got the balance, is you can take your arm and go across like that. And I'm really squeezing at the back here, to push forward and my tummy is on. So I'm stretching that muscle quite gently actually, but it does depend on how tight you are. And each side is different. Wow, this is so different. This is much tighter this side. This is my right leg. I'm really struggling to push forward and I can feel the muscle in there protesting. So I'm just gonna stay here for a moment. And then I can take my arm up and over, but keep pushing. Don't just arch back from your back. Keep pushing forward as much as you can. So 20 to 30 second hold. You can even do a minute. <laughs> Don't waste your time. You know, you've gotten down, you've gotten into that position. 
So spend the time doing it. Okay, back against the wall now, we're going to do the stretch standing up. So, holding here. Now this is what can happen for a lot of people. And in fact, this is what can happen for a lot of people. Your knees must be together, your thigh parallel. If you can't hold it, grab a tea towel, loop it around and hold it here to pull. Okay, so tummy's on to keep your pelvis in line and you're pushing your hips forward. Then what you can do, it's called PNF stretching. You're gonna press your foot into your hand, squeezing those muscles. So keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Press down, hold it, hold it. And release. And you can do that three times. And just for the sake of, actually in standing, it's not nearly so tight as it was kneeling. Okay, the final one of these, you get down on the ground. Okay, this is called side sit, or it's called two nineties. So you've got a 90 degree here, and a, if I take it back, it's a 90 degree there. And what we're gonna do is just rotate our hips. So we're going to the one side first of all, bringing yourself down. Now you can see my body's quite slanted. I'm very relaxed in this position, but ideally I would start coming up here like that and bringing myself in. So if I spin around, you can see the neck. So you do both sides like that, just warming up. And then use your hands if you need to and you're coming right around and coming around. So don't worry if you can't quite get your knees down, it will come. You've got to make sure this doesn't hurt. So if you've got arthritis in your knees, you might need to take your legs and release them out further like that. And you can also do it with one side like that if you need to. Okay, then the final thing is to do it without hands to come across. And you should be able to do this pain-free. So if you're not pain-free, you really need to do some work. 